forecast is for these areas here where we could have widely two to five centimetres of snow, 10 to 20 in the hills, and currently it's valid from three o'clock in the morning on Thursday till three o'clock in the morning on Friday. So if you're traveling, do bear this in mind and do keep watching because there's likely to be further updates on all of this. Sally John. Yellow snow, you don't want to go near that, do you? Oh. Absolutely not. Uh, Carol, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> thank you. You've been watching too many Carry On films, hey. have you? We're going to talk about Pete Butterworth now. Of course, he was known to legions of Carry On fans for his comic turns in those hit films. But before his slapstick capers, he had actually played an extraordinary part in the Second World War. Yeah, what about this for a, for a hidden background story? Because newly released documents have revealed that Peter was actually a code writer and escaped from a German prison camp, inspiring that classic film, The Great Escape. David Silito has been speaking to his son, Tyler, about the new discoveries. The National Archive and an exhibition of the documents telling the story of World War II's prisoners of war. You've got a photograph to show me here. Including this newly discovered photograph which has hidden behind it a secret. Underneath it, hidden letter. Oh, this is writing. It is writing, it is indeed. The photo, sent by prisoners, had a secret message in minuscule writing. And the exhibition reveals more about the men behind all of this, including one who went on to become a famous face in British cinema. If you're a fan of the Carry On films, you'll recognise him. Peter Butterworth. Welcome to paradise. Here in Carry On Camping. And here, Carry On Up the Khyber. Don't worry, we'll save you some strawberry mousse. <laughs> that's the new document that's been uncovered, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Now, for his son Tyler, the gradual release of his wartime records has been a revelation. That's his ID paper, isn't it, from Stalaglyph Three? The Stalaglyph Three is a famous one, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, it's of course it's the one where the Great Escape took place from, and, and also uh, the Wooden Horse Escape. The Wooden Horse, for those who've not seen the film, was another famous escape when they tunnelled under a vaulting horse. Are you honestly saying that Peter Butterworth <laughs> of Carry On Up the Khyber was involved in both The Great Escape and The Wooden Horse? Yeah, he, yes he was. Military? Me? Certainly not! He played the daftest characters and here he is, yeah. part of MI9. Yes, yes, well that's the other side that nobody knew about. Um, he was working for British intelligence, code writing. You're learning new stuff? Yeah, yeah, all the time. They're, they're here at the National Archives, when they keep declassifying things, more things seem to bubble up. Uh, it's remarkable. Did he talk about this to you? No, no, he didn't. He did suffer from what we all now call post-traumatic stress disorder. But I didn't know, obviously, he never said this to my sister and I, uh, but my mother told me about it, about things that happened, uh, especially when they were married. Uh, right at the start of their marriage after the war where he'd suddenly leap out of bed at night and throw himself on the floor and start hiding and she had to barricade the bedroom door because the staircase was outside and he would have uh, and then he'd get back into bed and just go to sleep my mother would lie there wide awake for the rest of the night well, here we are, girls. Welcome. and for fans of the carry-ons it's worth noting there was another prisoner in Stalagluft 3 Talbot Rothwell who wrote the carry-on scripts. The humour kind of had its had its kind of start, its kind of in this place, surrounded by watchtowers and guard dogs. But they they worked out what made guys laugh. And that was the funny thing. Dad played these kind of bumbling characters that was always getting things wrong. And there's this complete flip side of this man that was totally focused, writing code working with his friends who were tunnelling on the other side of the compound, of the north compound. Repent ye before it is too late! Having been through what he'd been through, um, I'm, not, I'm not surprised he had all sorts of different things going on in his mind and in his life. I mean, my mother told me that when, he, when they first bought the house that we grew up in, Dad would religiously put on a dressing gown and walk around the garden in the morning, every morning, because he could. Because here, he couldn't. And those are the sort of things he brought back with him. 
But I didn't know about Wallace till he was dying, uh, dead. No, no. Who are you? So when he was growing up, Dad was just an actor in some gloriously daft films. Fifty years on, Tyler now knows rather more about his famous father. David Solito, BBC News. What a story. Incredible. What a brilliant story. Yeah. Do stay with us, everyone. The headlines are coming right up.